Across this road is Gaza, a few kilometres away from us. In the distance, you can probably hear the odd thud of artillery. This morning, the Israelis started shelling, and that's why we've been told by the Israeli military we can't cross. So we're stuck here in this surreal border post. I say surreal because alongside all the international journalists camped out there for a couple of hours, there are soldiers on their break uh, toting sniper rifles and all kinds of military hardware. And it looks, because of this fighting that's going on here, that we probably won't be able to cross today. Uh, but the captain from the Israeli army in charge of our party tells us to watch out tonight because things might change. I asked him, does that mean there'll be a ceasefire again tonight? He shrugged his shoulders. He says he don't know because there are other ways in which things might change. Now that, in a, in a way, encapsulates the entire current situation. There's only two ways things can change. A ceasefire and building on a series of ceasefires, an actual some form of truce or an escalation. And an escalation is going to mean a ground troops from the Israeli army across that road, going in not just with artillery and from a distance with tanks as they are at the moment, but uh, with these guys sitting in the cafe um, with their small arms up against very well armed and very highly motivated Hamas.